Hello. Then protein? Do I formulate feed for shrimp based on crude protein or on amino acids? How do I do it? What am I supposed to do? In general, shrimp need protein, lipids, fiber, ashes, various other nutrients, various fatty steels, minerals and amino acids play a very important role in shrimp nutrition as they do in other animals, such as protein synthesis, growth and development immunity, behavior, reproduction, metamorphosis so there's no way you can have efficient shrimp production if you don't consider amino acids in the nutrition of these animals but then, because we see so much protein, Shrimp feed formulation based on shrimp feed on the protein level? Is that right? What happens then? What happens to these animals? So when we look at protein digestion and absorption, we see that 60% of all protein degradation by shrimp is based on needs or demands via a tryposin to start the protein digestion process so if I don't have this enzyme activated and I need the conditions for it to work and then pH conditions etc and such I need and I depend on it so that this protein has the possibility of being degraded only how does the animal absorb the protein when we analyze what happens to this protein when it undergoes an enzymatic action such as tryposin chymotrypsin, etc. brush by means of oligopeptidases or more enzymes that transform into some amino acids or even divide these oligopeptides into tripeptides. Those oligopeptides that are not absorbed in this first step are divided into the penultimate ones that we call the penultimate ones such as proline and lanin. These ones pass by a broader process and see that these amino acids when they are like amino acids already by the first digestion process are already absorbed through transport proteins and amino acids into the cell and then yes yes it is absorbed see that there is a very large demand of shrimp digestive enzymes so that these proteins are degraded and then absorbed as an amino acid so when we talk about formulating feed for shrimp or any other animal based only on crude protein we have to understand that the animal does not thesis of crude protein and yes of the amino acids that compose it. So if I do not consider the amino acid composition of the crude protein of my ingredients that will bring our nutrition there, I can reduce the quality of my product because the amino acid profile of my crude protein it has to be of quality because otherwise I won't have protein synthesis see that even in muscle tissue. For example see that until now I only commented on protein absorption, not protein synthesis so amino acids are actually absorbed so no it's no use formulating a ration with protein imagining that they will be absorbed in fact. What is absorbed as amino acid and this causes us to have a situation of excess energy expenditure if we agree there high protein but under a reduced profile or profile of amino acids in this low quality protein in relation to the animal's demand. I have an excess of some amino acids at some point because when there is tissue protein synthesis, protein for example, I spend, to get an idea, the animal spends 4 moles of ATP for the deposition of the amino acid in the protein molecule so when the amino acid is at adequate levels for protein synthesis, 4 moles of ATP are spent so if I consider the quality of my protein and formulate my feed, I have the possibility of having a natural energy expenditure only that for protein synthesis it takes 4 moles of ATP if I do not consider this nutritional quality this quality in terms of the amino acid profile of the crude protein in my formulation. I run the risk of having an excess of some amino acid and what happens is that these amino acids need to be broken down in the structure to eliminate the hydrogen part and the amine group because this part will not be stored in the body so this process of catabolism of these amino acids for the excretion of this amine group will only cost you 6 moles of ATP which is not 6 moles of ATP for each amino acid in excess it is 6 moles of ATP for each and excreted for example here a genine has six nitrogens one two three four actually it has four 
I reversed the order it has four nitrogens so how I spend six moles of ATP for each nitrogen atom if I spend for an excess of a ginning 24 ATP for stitting 18 ATP so what happens? If I formulate my feed not only based on the protein but on the amino acid profile of that protein I reduce the energy expenditure in the process of protein absorption and digestion as well as in the synthesis of protein synthesis then the excess of amino acids will make me have so much the risk of raising the metabolic cost in digestion as well as in the excretion of the amine group of that excess amino acid so naturally you will not always be having problems with limiting amino acids in this situation if you do not consider using amino acids and you will still have a natural loss in this production so guys there is no way to formulate a ration without considering these aspects always be aware of these points and follow more information soon or assemble this ration faster